So every once in a while, you might want to warp your text or maybe wave your text, make your way, uh, text look wavy or have it in an arc. So let's go ahead and investigate that. I'm going to go ahead and get my text tool. And down here, the color is going to be white. I'm just going to click one time. It looks like it's really small size, 4.02. Let's make that a bit bigger. Let's go 72 at least. So 72 right now we have it set at. And let's just type in fun in the snow. All right, this will be our headline. I think I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm showing my bounding box down here in the left-hand corner. I am using my move tool. And I'm going to take it from one of the uh, nodes there. Let's just make it around this size. Click on the little green check mark. And once we have it selected, you'll notice in the layers on the right hand side, you have it selected, it's blued out. And then you also have um, the move tool selected. Now you can go up into layer, type, and let's go to warp text. Now you're going to have different styles here, so you can go ahead and check these different styles to see which one's going to work the best for your layout. So you've got arc, you've got the next one down, which is arc lower, you have arc upper. That one's kind of cool because it is kind of more of a, not a straight line, but it kind of uh, goes up in a nice little circle type of thing. And you can also take these little sliders here and kind of mess around with it even more so to give it that exact look that you're looking for. So you can come in here and you can go in and try different distortions. Now if you want to set it back, I thought there was an easy way to do that. I thought you could double click on that. But you might just have to go in there and set it to 0% if you want to change it back to what it originally was. So I'm going to go back into Layer type warp text you can keep adding to that let's go in and see the flag i would come up here and kind of wave it a little bit more maybe this way that's very very distorted so we don't want to do that so you have all different kinds of things that you can do with that let's just go ahead and keep this here that's the arc let's try another one let's just go in here and um uh, let's just go jc 20 I don't even remember when this was. Let's just do 2010. And open it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take it from one of the corners. I can change the color of maybe just the word JC if I want to. So I can go in and get my text tool. I can highlight the word JC. And you have to get right on it. It's kind of frustrating at first trying to select uh, individual letters. But you'll get used to it. Then I go to color. Let's just take the little color picker. Maybe I want it to be green, so I'm going to use my little eyedropper tool to get that green color. And then click on the check mark, and now we have two different colors within the same line. Let's go back into Layer, Type, Warp Text. Go back in here. Let's kind of play around with some more things. Let's try Twist. They're pretty funky. I, I don't use them very often, but it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do if you want to do some funky stuff with your text. So try these out. See what you think. There's the bulge. There was a fish eye in here, I think. Let's see. Where did that go? There's a fish. <laughs> and then we've got these other sliders to kind of play around with. So mainly the ones I use most is probably the arc, maybe the arc lower are the arc upper. Those are the three that I use the most. Just kind of play around with it. You've got the vertical as well, so you can use instead of horizontal, try vertical. See what you can come up with. And again, remember, if you don't like it, you can always cancel it out. It'll go back to the original, and then you can kind of start, you know, start over from there. So, and if you have two different lines of text, I don't think I've tried this before. Let's just try it. I hit the Enter key. Now my letting is way too tight, so I'm going to go back in here. See how it's overlapping? We need to put bump that size up a little bit for the letting. That's 168 is the size, so we need it to be at least 168. So let's go 170 for the letting. See how that pushes it away from each other? It's kind of hard to get used to, but kind of play around with that to see how uh, that works out for you when you get the text tool. You see that the letting and the size down here 
and I think it's at 172, but you can't see that one. So I'm just gonna kind of push it over. Well, maybe it's at 72, interesting. So I'm gonna go back in to layer, type, warp text. Let's just see how it works with two lines of text. So you can do that. Never tried it before, but it is possible. So check that out. That is under layer, type, and warp text. Thank you so much for watching, and I do have one quick question for you all. A lot of people ask me what kind of good camera I use. I use my phone a lot for all the picture taking, but I do have a good camera, and it is quite old though. Let's see, what the heck is it? It's, a, it's an icon for sure. Where is the numbers on this? It's a D5100. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a D5100. The cool thing about this is just a few months ago, I did get an 18 by 300 lens. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's an 18 by 300, which means that I can go really, really zoomed in at a pretty darn good quality. So I love this lens. And I would love to know what kind of good camera that you use. Post it below. Let us know the specifics. Let us know if you like it. I know uh, Canon is another one I was looking at and a Sony, but I have stuck with this Nikon for, oh, I don't know, 10 years now. So let us know what you use. And thank you so much for participating. I'm Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Thanks for watching.